I am honored to call our first panel, Connecting Vision to Action. Our moderator, Dr. Anatlia Bonstein, Director, Fuel Choices and Smart Mobility Initiative. Stephanie Raymond, Managing Director, Connect with the Wolf Volkswagen Group. Witt Lichtenstein, Head of Tech, Scouting and Business at Skoda. Arancha Alonso Fernandez, Business Development Officer at SEAT. Christoph Hahnmann, Head of Customer Engagement and Communication at Volkswagen. Peter Harris, Chief Customer Officer at Volkswagen Group. And Tal Brin, Executive Director, Head of Car Innovation, Investment, Champion Motors. So. One, two. Back on stage. Actually, I'm very excited to be moderating this first panel. Uh, but just so we're on the same page, you heard that we have here uh, Škoda and Seat and VW. Those all are brands which are under the VW group. So first lesson learned for those of you who are not in the automotive sector, there are brands and there is a group. The brands belong to the group and at least as of 2017, VW Group was the largest automaker in, ter in terms of sales. Now, those of you who attended the Fuel Choices and Smart Mobility Summit head last October might have heard this gentleman here, Mr. P Peter Harris, mentioning about VW Group looking into promoting some kind of activity here in Israel. He even mentioned something called campus. Now, Peter, so... You mentioned the campus, but VW Group already has a lot of, um, a lot of activities here in Israel. One of the known ones is with Cymotive, which is a cyber uh, security technology um, uh, industry. And I would like to ask you, why, why, why is VW so interested in the Israeli ecosystem? What, what, what's actually pushing VW to work with the Israeli ecosystem? Okay, good, thank you. And good morning, everybody. Um, I think, first of all, just to touch on what we said last time in November, uh, we said that we might be here um, and we're delighted actually with yesterday's news about the announcement that we are launching the Volkswagen Group Campus Tel Aviv, known as Connect. So uh, we're very pleased with that. But <clears throat> thank you. Um, but to answer your question, um, both the Volkswagen Group uh, and myself are big believers in the technical innovations that are coming out of Israel and the Israeli startup ecosystem. And this is especially true in the areas of self-driving systems for autonomous vehicles, for cybersecurity, for vehicle connectivity, and so on. And we genuinely believe that if we want to reach our goal of becoming a global leading provider of sustainable mobility, we have to be here working with the best. So I think actually the question is, how can we afford not to be here, um, as opposed to why, why we're here. Um, I think the second reason that uh, we're here is just because of the accessibility into the ecosystem. Um, you know, through organizations like your own, through academia, through the VC community, it's just incredibly easy to tap in to the startup community here. And um, I think it's important if you come here and you know what the problem is you're trying to solve or what it is that you're looking for, you can immediately set up meetings with about 15 different startups in one day. And most of the time, you're going to probably find someone that you want to work with on proof of concepts or minimum viable products. So that's probably the second reason around accessibility. And then finally, the third reason is just the spirit and the energy and the culture that exists here in the ecosystem. And it, it's unbelievable. It's really like nowhere else um, that we go to when we work in these types of environments. And uh, sometimes we think, God, can't we just get some of that energy and bottle it up and, and take it back to Wolfsburg or wherever we are as well, because we're missing that. So I think there's, there's tremendous energy. People want to get things done quickly. There's no fear of failure. And, and that's what we need. I mean, we come here often for two days. We're working like hell, and uh, it feels like we leave. We've been here for five days, but in a good way, because we've got so much done. So, I mean, that's why we're here. We're really excited about Connect, about the founding brands that are going to be here, Audi, Seat, Skoda, the Volkswagen Group, Champion Motors, all working together. Um, and finally, just delighted to be extending the activities from the group within the Israeli market as well. 
so, so first of all, congratulations on this. And the connect, you can see here, there's also a logo. But other than a logo, there's also this lady here is going to be running this whole show, Stephanie. And uh, so, so Stephanie, yes, we heard in the news yesterday, that it's, and it's big news, VW is opening the Connect campus in Israel. But w what is so unique about this uh, new entity? What is so unique about Connect regarding any other activities that is known? Yeah, so um, our campus, first of all, I have to say it's a different word. It is not a lab, it's not a hub. It is a campus. So for us, a campus really means it is a place of learning, it is a place of action, and it's a place where different disciplines and different people come together. So it is a place where we can learn. And um, we know, as the Volkswagen Group, we know we don't have the answers and we, we don't know how we can tackle all of our technological challenges. So we know we have to come to a place of action, we have to come to Israel, and that, this is why we're here. So this is why we're here to learn from the best in the Israeli ecosystem. So the question why it's so unique, um, it's unique because we're bringing all of our brands to work here with us together. It's not just the Connect team, but it's actually also um, the group brands that will be sitting with us, that will be working for us and to us and um, together with the startups. So, I mean, this is a unique setup and we're bringing the experts, we're bringing project teams and we're also bringing delegations because we have the exact need then from the brands. It's not just going out there and seeing what is in the market, it is concrete and very much um, focused on our project. So you might ask what's in for the startup. Um, it is what Peter referred to, it's the access. It's a direct access for the first time to all of our Volkswagen Group brands. They're here, they're sitting together in an open space. Uh, we're already here. And uh, we will start with the first scouting activities. We will help as a connect identifying and developing proof of concepts. And yeah, furthermore, I mean, we, the word actually says it all, it's connect. So we're connecting the corporate together with the startup and we will help to find for you also the right partnerships and um, building on partnerships within the Volkswagen Group. So we are fully committed, we're here, we have an office, we're very serious and we're here to stay. And um, yes, we also have first hires and I'm in the process of relocating. I'm very excited about it to moving to Israel from Germany. So that's exciting, um, very exciting for me actually. Um, and yeah, so for me, the campus is more than a place to work. It is a place of action, it's a place of innovation, and it's a place where we're going to build the future mobility solutions for all of our brands. And so this is the gateway and the direct access. And yes, this is for me really unique. Yes, it is unique. And if I could just rephrase it, what is it? this is actually a gateway of all the Israeli startups to VW Group as well as all the brands, right? Exactly. Exactly. So, have you heard that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now, going, Christoph, you're not in Israel yet. <laughs> Personally, you're not in Tel Aviv already, sorry. You recently launched the Wii platform. Yes. So, first of all, if you could just briefly describe what it is, uh, this platform, the Wii platform for mobility. Okay. Yes, uh, hello everybody. Um, so the Volkswagen passenger uh, car brand has launched a new digital sub-brand called Volkswagen Wii. And uh, Wii uh, is more than just a platform. It's more than just the services behind it. We have already launched some services, like a parking service, and there will be more to, to come. Um, uh, it's, it's also more than an ecosystem. It's actually like a movement. Think of it as a community. Yeah? We chose the name Wii because it encompasses everybody. Everybody in this room can be part of we. We want to be uh, shaping the future of mobility. We want to be uh, the, the, the one-stop shop for all mobility services needs in, of our customers in the future. And it doesn't need to be Volkswagen drivers only. It could be anybody. Actually, a very interesting story I saw. Um, I don't know if anybody likes cars. But uh, in Berlin recently on the street, I saw a Pontiac GTO from 1967 with a Volkswagen uh, Wii um, parking sticker in it. So, you know, we even have classic car enthusiasts using our services. They're not our customers yet. 
right? And this, this movement is, like I said, it's big, much bigger than the platform and much bigger than an ecosystem. And in order to create this, though, we are really relying on uh, opening up to the world. We are really relying on partners. So we already announced um, a few um, partnerships in recent uh, events. Um, at uh, Frankfurt Motor Show last year, we announced a partnership with IBM. At the Web Summit, I don't know if, who's been to the Web Summit in Lisbon last year, we announced a huge partnership with Google on quantum computing. And uh, he, we're here in Israel today because we want to start partnerships with, uh, with local uh, startups, with disruptors, with the innovation forces of the Israeli ecosystem. And we're very excited to, uh, to be here and to be part of the Connect campus. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a, an extremely valuable experience to tap into this ecosystem and all the innovation forces that are, that are um, currently happening in, in, in Israel. More specifically, in what areas do you see a potential collaboration with the Israeli startups in what specific sectors or themes? Right. So for the ecosystem, we're obviously looking for business. We're creating a new business model for the Volkswagen. Uh, for Volkswagen. Um, we're looking at uh, mobility services, but not just that. We're also looking for enabling technologies. So since the ecosystem is built on a platform, we, will, we are requiring, obviously, uh, also support in building this platform. We need uh, also enabling technologies for the services, maybe in cyber technologies, uh, Internet of Things, uh, blockchain. These are all areas that I think uh, Israel is very, very strong at. The Tel Aviv ecosystem is extremely strong. I think today's uh, event is a testament to this. I already s uh, spent some time looking at some of the booths and some of the exhibitions from, uh, from some of the startups here. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. And I think it, it showed again that it was a, the right choice to come here and to, to foster much closer ties to this community. Great. Now, going back to Vit, representing... Uh uh, Skoda, which at least as from the VW group, you have the most presence here in Israel. Now, and you're also physically present here in Israel. V already lives here in uh, Israel, right? Is that correct? That, that is correct. Well, indeed, um, Skoda Auto is number one European brand in, mm. in Israel. Okay. So, and, um, so living here in Israel, you are quite exposed to the Israeli innovation um, scenery. How do you feel it? How do you see the innovation from your experience in the last few months? Um, very, ch very challenging. So we already started to scout in Israel a few months ago. So we do have already in the pipeline projects from cybersecurity, sensors, data for passengers and drivers. And that's, that's something actually very important for me. I'm, uh, and we are looking for companies where cast customer is in the center. So it should be customer-centric uh, companies. Uh, however, there are also some clashes in Israel, meaning Israeli companies are very assertive. And something, <laughs> sometimes for European companies, this is something new. Um, so please also, you understand us. Uh, that we also have our structure and uh, the way of work. However, on the other, uh, other side, I would say that Israelis would uh, run the last mile for you. They would really do whatever is needed to, to be successful. Um, currently, we are looking for the field of um, Industry 4.0 and production. Uh, however, of course, we are open for any other uh, interesting uh, fields. So. As uh, Anna said, uh, I'm in Israel, so I will be more than happy to share and exchange um, contacts with you. Uh, and I would like to also say that I'm happy that all of us are here, also with our colleagues from the Israeli ecosystem and the brands, because I believe that each brand is uh, strong in each aspect. And because I already do have some experience, and we in the team, we are willing to share this. So happy to be here. Thank you. Just one more question. Uh, about a half a year ago, there was in the news about the, the, the it's called the DG Lab, which kind of, I don't know, emphasized that Skoda is more focused on the digitalization part or something like that. Could you a little elaborate on that and, and also mention if it's already something active here in Israel? Right. So Skoda has um, a, a strategy called um, 2025, where they are covering all the fields of digitalization. Um, 
I said that we are focusing on business development, and that's uh, correct. So we already started some time ago. However, we are part of uh, the Volkswagen campus. And um, as I said, I'm ready to make more contacts and uh, business uh, together. Okay. Now, uh, again, going back to the Field Choices and Smart Mobility Summit, end of October, CEO of SEAT, Luca De Meo, announced the uh, initiation of Explora, a team coming here from Spain to Israel, which is kind of a unique uh, a new way. So, Arancia from, uh, from SEAT, could you a little elaborate on that? What is this model? The activities, is ha has it been useful? What's your experience uh, ever since it was launched end of October? Uh, well, in fact, I'm very happy to be back here one year after the whole thing started because it started last year in a commotion as well. Uh, we came to have a direct impression on what was the, the ecosystem of Israel, the startup nation that everyone mentioned. Uh, we were so impressed that we talked to Champion, who is our main local partner here in Israel. And we, the only thing we learned is if you want to uh, come to Israel and really understand how can we help you and how can you help us, we need a local partner. That's why we went uh, into a collaboration with Champion Moto, which we call Explora, because the, thing, the whole thing is about that, about exploring new opportunities and finding uh, how to tap the future of mobility. Um, we started then in May last year thinking about it, and already in, um, in September our team started to work in Israel so that uh, Luca de Mel could communicate officially the start of the activities in, no in November. Since then, uh, we have done a lot of things. It has been super fruitful. Uh, we have scouted about 100 startups. Um, we went through approximately 40 uh, deep dives uh, with startups, with uh, contacting your teams with the experts from, uh, from SEAT. And now we're in the uh, analysis of 10 potential proof of concepts. So, you know, things are happening. We already have KPAs of real things happening. We demonstrated in the Mobile World Congress already an integration of a technology from a um, local company from my side. And uh, we're now in discussions of a letter of intent when one of the of local companies as well, we're looking at uh, investment opportunities. So we can really state, it's not that we think, we can really confirm that there is a strong opportunity for you and for us to work together to uh, face the future of mobility. So again, I say, um, I'm extremely happy to be here and not only us together with Champion, but with the other brands of the group together within Connect, I think this will bring us to the next level, as always Luca de Meo tends to say, is always thinking far, they're going to the next step, and now all together, all the brands uh, will make that happen. Yeah, so, so we hear there's a couple of brands each with, which had their own activity, but see the, the positive impact of being under the same connect platform and sharing from each other and actually enhancing the activities. Now I want to turn to Tal representing the actually the importer point of view but also a partner to some of uh, these activities. I want to ask you in your perspective first of all how do you see what's going on now? How do you see how did you see the news? How are you connected to it? Okay so uh, first of all um, as a distributor we uh, we realize that the industry is going through a, a change. Uh, and uh, this change is uh, challenging uh, us as a distributor as well. And uh, therefore, we, uh, we decided to, uh, to be active in this, uh, in this ecosystem uh, through two main uh, channels. One of them is enhancing our collaboration with, the, with Volkswagen Group. Uh, we've already established uh, the joint ventures with the Škoda Auto, uh, DigiLab, and with the SEAT. Uh, having the Explorer team and uh, Škoda Auto Digital Bit, <coughs> sorry, Israel. And uh, as said here, already uh, started some uh, collaborations uh, with startups and uh, promoting POCs and uh, MVPs uh, to promote the uh, local uh, ecosystem. And uh, so this is uh, really important for us and we're really happy that now all the group brands are coming here and we can even enhance what we're already doing. Second channel is uh, investing. Uh, as Champion Motors, we also invest in, uh, in local startups. Uh, we want to be a uh, part of this uh, future industry. 
and uh, take share of uh, companies that will uh, reshape the industry in the next uh, 10 years. Um, we've already made some investments in companies such as uh, Argus Cybersecurity, Innovis, Guardian, Anagog, Gar Garnock Cybersecurity, and so on. And um, some of the, thanks to our uh, collaboration, uh, also some of these companies are already collaborating with uh, some of the brands. Um, but it could also work the other way around. I mean, since we're working together with them and close uh, to the brands, we can also see where the traction is, what is interesting, and do the investments uh, afterwards. Okay, so and, and now I have, I'm going back to you, Stephanie, but either one of you can just uh, dive in. Um, we have con again, we have Connect, and it, and it sounds really great, but if I'm now an entrepreneur sitting in the crowd, I'm saying to myself, okay, I have this idea, I want VW Group to be exposed to it. Who do I approach? What will I get? What am I, what, what am I supposed to be facing now? Let's just make it clear for the audience, because yeah. I think that's the important part for them to understand yeah. how to actually benefit from this. Yeah, how, how to contact us. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we have a booth out here, a pretty big one. Um, so you can come and see us there. And what's what's really important for us is because what we've also learned in the experience in the past experience when we came out here, it's like a full full week of meeting startups, and then it's very difficult with the follow-ups. And I know you're waiting to, to hear from us, and we have like 100 emails in our inbox, and we said we, we will contact you. So what we have set up in order to organize us better and in order to really um, get this more transparent is a startup database. It's a database that can be used and accessed by all of our brands. And at our booth, we have an iPad, we have our own website, um, where you can um, put in your data, where you can um, sign up for it. And for us, this database is the basis once we get the inquiries and the requests from the brands. So if a brand is saying, hey, we, we're coming out and we actually want to see what's out there in terms of blockchain. So we're setting something up then we look into the database and then we invite you to come and see us. So this is for us the, the basis. We're still in the ramp up phase, we're a small team. Of course you're invited to connect with us, you're invited to see us, but for us it's really the startup database. It's, it's a good entry and be sure it's, it can be seen by all of our brands, not just the brands that are here, but actually also the other brands. And we're getting approached also from further brands. They're interested in also coming here. So it is, it is the brands that are sitting here, but also coming to see us. So that is our, our approach. So please visit us as our, at our booth and connect with us. Yeah, exactly. There's no time like the present. Uh, if you want to connect with us, I think today is a great opportunity. We, they, we have um, already set up, few, uh, in advance, we had already set up uh, some beer bench talks with companies, so we're going to be there if you try to find a way uh, around that time to talk with us. This afternoon, there's uh, a startup pitch at the startup uh, stage at quarter to three. Uh, we had pre-selected uh, some startups to pitch for a, a slot in our incubator. This is going to be a very exciting opportunity um, for one of those startups we had pre-selected to, to join us uh, and work with us in our offices in, in Dresden. Um, and uh, around that time, quarter to three, I think it starts today on, this, on the startup stage, uh, you ought to be able to interact more with us and we'll be around all day. Um, and uh, I think the, 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 the contact details are also at the booth. Yeah. So do, do you make use of the opportunity. We're here, uh, we, we mean business, uh, we want to interact and engage, and we want to foster really close ties. And by bringing an Israeli startup to Germany to work in our offices, I think and the winner today has that opportunity. Uh, I think that's a great signal also. Yeah, today is definitely a great opportunity, but just as Stephanie said, they're not here for the day, they're here to stay, and as I mentioned, we have a couple of representatives here that are already living or moving to Israel, and, and I guess that's kind of a statement for VW Group to be active. You wanted to say something? I would only add to that, I believe for start startups it's important to understand that then the brand themselves will be in touch with them directly, um, for example, Škoda Auto, we will then link them with a concrete business unit and make the fast cooperation. 
Uh, that's what we did with Champion Motors in uh, last, uh, last month. Uh, however, how I do see our cooperation is to inform about each other, and also for the startups that could be something interesting. Meaning, if we will find interesting startups, unfortunately it will not be in our field of interest, I will talk to Volkswagen and they will take care. So I just want to point this out that the brands themselves are then doing the business development. And uh, uh, well, I think it's very important. There is the opportunity, but not the urgency. The thing that we have learned in the time that we have spent here, you're, as a nation, a big family. So we will meet again. We are here to stay, and we have our people here. Our explorers are leaving here. They go back and forth to Barcelona, uh, but they spend most of the time here. So don't worry. If you're shy today or if you don't see it clear, we will meet again. I mean, we are everywhere, so you'll find us. So... No problem. I can't resist it with a marketing background, but what you said is absolutely true. We're not here for the day, we're here to stay. And I think that's <laughs> great. So. I, I, I have a question regarding the, the um, I mean, the presence of, of a, over scouting. You decided to be active here, and a, a, lot of the startup, a lot of the startups, when they approach a big automaker or a big organization, they kind of get lost to who should they approach, who should they talk to, who is the guy within that organization that actually moves the projects. And uh, now having Connect, do you think that would aid in that? Will you actually really, like I said before, be the gateway for those startups to implement the projects more deeply within that organization? Yes, absolutely. So um, this is, I mean, as we said, this is the gateway, uh, and we want to help you. We want to help the startups to go through the jungle of the VW Group and its brands. So we know it's a bit difficult and sometimes a bit slower, but having us on the ground, we can also translate what it means within, within the corporate. So for you, in a day, you can probably get so much more things quicker done than we can get it done. So it is just because we have our long processes and we as a connect team here on the ground, we can explain how it works. We know we have a long procurement process. We have a lot of rules to follow. So we're here to explain, to educate, and also to help the startups and the startup ecosystem through our, yeah, like, actually I like to say Volkswagen Group jungle, because sometimes it probably feels like a jungle going through, you know, the different um, departments yeah. and contacts. So we're, we're definitely here to, to elaborate that and help on that. Yeah, I, I think it's very important to say, we don't want to teach you how we work, but we want to learn from you how you work. And in our case, uh, out of the 10th month experience that we have uh, done in, the, in this time, uh, the way we do it, the explorers we have here will be your gateway or your door to SEAT. They will understand you and with their background know who to talk with in SEAT. And then first thing, our experts will come so that you don't have to lose focus on what you're doing. We come and visit you so that then in a technical perspective in deep analysis, we can really, or you the experts between you can talk and say, where there is a potential of collaboration. And from there, it's gone. You simply then work directly with the developers or with the business development team to make a definition of a proof of concept, but always very important, we think of what happens next. If the proof of concept works, then so what? We want to do things that bring us further. The proof of concept is not the objective, it's the integration, it's the growth afterwards. It's very important and I think this is differentiating. We're not here to do proof of concepts. We're here to find solutions to escalate. Um, from Škoda Auto point of view, I believe it's also emphasized about the timing for startups. Because I understand that you don't have uh, uh, eternal time or to, to, to run the POCs for, uh, with us forever. So usually we work that after first meeting with you, within three weeks, uh, we do talk with concrete business unit. I will use example of connected car. And within three weeks, we will get back to you with the next step. If we will link you with the business unit, and then uh, usually it's without another two to three weeks, uh, you are discussing about the POC, or if we will keep it on hold. So this you can expect also from us. 
This is great. Now, uh, if we can open it to the to the audience, if you have any questions, Are there any questions from the audience? Everything is everything is clear. So we have a couple of uh, more minutes, but uh, yes. Maybe, maybe I can make a, um, a comment. I'll give you only a hint because this is still not to be communicated, but we are working uh, in Barcelona. You know that Barcelona is also um, well a tech hub, as uh, it is uh, Tel Aviv, uh, with other big corporates from other industries to work on an open innovation concept which, where we work together to find what you're mentioning. Um, common uh, industrial solution for different uh, applications. Because we really see a potential there, but for us and also for you technology developers to find in one single knock five big corporates as potential uh, markets for you. So we're working on that. We're very close to an announcement. So we see already the potential. And now that I mentioned Barcelona, I would also like to make comments. We see, and it was also mentioned by Luca de May in November, the link between Tel Aviv and Barcelona, how similar we are. And we believe as well that there is a potential to try to um, promote talent um, ex ex exchange between both sides. We're working with the Tech City, which is the, the hub of startups in Barcelona, to try to build that bridge. So it will be, you know, uh, try to promote that you come over to Barcelona, collaborate with corporates there, not only with us, uh, or with other startups, or the other way around that they come over and uh, promote this exchange. Because I really believe within the Mediterranean, we can uh, change many things. We're um, creative, um, passionate, and with no fear to try whatever is possible. So we would like to promote that exchange, make the thing even bigger. Thank you. Uh, so, just want to try to summarize. We heard the wonderful news about Connect, which is the gateway to the brands. We heard, we know that there's the, the, the Skoda uh, DigiLab. We know the, uh, now about the We platform, which we all can be part of. And and the, and there's the Champion Motors, and there's and there are Explorer. So there's a lot of activities. And again, I would just like one last sentence, maybe from you, Stephanie. Just to summarize everything about the VW new activity here. Yeah, so in a nutshell, in the summary, we are connect. So we're connecting the corporate and the startups, and we're here to learn from you, from the startups, to work together, to cooperate, and we're very, very excited about that. And this is, this is a huge venture for us, and it's very new for us as well. So in summary, I mean, this is, big news for the group as well so we invite you to come and see us and to actually create connect with us together and we as a government would like to see a lot of poc and a lot of activities here in israel that's why we congratulate you for doing this and for trusting the israeli environment both the wonderful startups and also the support of the government and i want to thank you on behalf of the government and good luck <laughs>